Hello! I've just finished arranging my array of square units to help me measure the area of this rectangle. How many rows are there and how many tiles are in each row? I have one, two, three, four rows and one, two, three, four, five, six tiles in each row. Be sure to count this first tile. It's part of the rows and columns. To find the area, I know I have to count all of these units. So that's six, four times. So what is the total area of this rectangle? I have four rows of six square units. So that's four units times six units equals 24 square units. Great! Now, I was going to look at this next problem, but I didn't have enough time to lay out all of the tiles. But wait a minute. We have a little information here. How many rows do I have? I have three rows. One, two, three. And now, how many square units are in each row? There are three rows of seven square units. So do I really need to fill in the rest of this array? Isn't this the same amount of information we used in our first problem? To find the area of this rectangle, what should we do? To find the area, we multiply the length of the sides together. 3 times 7 equals 21. We have 21 square units. And look at this. That checks out. 21 square units. So, to find the area of a rectangle, all we really need is the length of the sides. Now, let's look at this problem. Given this information, what is the total area? To find the area, we multiply the two sides. 6 centimeters times 8 centimeters equals 48 square centimeters. I think you've got the hang of it. Try a few more. So, to find area, we know we have to multiply the lengths of the two sides together. But what about this? I have 27 square inch tiles and I want to create a rectangle with three rows. How many tiles will be in each row? Which diagram represents this problem? One side of my rectangle is going to be three inches and I know that the total area will be 27 square inches. So this rectangle diagrams our problem. The missing side here is marked with a question mark. We want to find out how many tiles will be in each row. Which multiplication sentence shows how we can solve this question? We know that to find area, we multiply the length and width together. So that's 3 inches times this length here, which we'll mark with a question mark. And that equals 27 square inches. Now what is our answer? What is the value of the question mark? 3 times 9 equals 27. The missing length is 9 inches. Now, can you express this problem as a division sentence? To make this a division sentence, we will divide the total area by the known side length and our unknown becomes the quotient. Great work! We've found a simpler way to find area. Multiply the length of the side that shows you the number of rows by the length of the side that shows you how many tiles are in that row. And if you know the area 
but are missing one side, you can divide to find the missing length. Great work! Next time, we'll use these new skills to find the areas of complex shapes. But before we go, use what you know to solve these problems.